How do you see the working relationship between the FAA and the drone industry? What do you want to see from them? The FAA has done an amazing job of recognizing the potential of drones and the obvious appeal that it has and uh, you know, pushing their bureaucracy to work at what for them is lightning speed to make it easier for people to use drones for safe and productive and responsible use. You, you see that in the creation of Part 107, you know, for a few days study and taking a test that people say is, seems reasonable to them, you can be using your drone for professional uses. We think that's a reasonable compromise there. When the FAA came out with Part 107, I, I thought even more important than just the particular rules is their statement, drones are good for America. Drones have a very important role to play in the workflow of business and they can be safely integrated into the national airspace and we just need to make sure that we can do it. If you were to get face to face with Mike Huerta for a little bit, what are the top three things on your list that the FAA can do for the drone industry? Yeah, I think the immediate things that people are looking for are flight over people, flying beyond the line of sight, flying at night. And there are a lot of technological discussions going on about you know, a unified traffic management system, some way of having drones be able to ping each other, um, having a, a drone registration system whereby there are people who would like something similar to a license plate that protects the privacy of the drone owner, but law enforcement or aviation authorities, if necessary, can investigate the report of an errant drone. That's one of the concerns that we hear from people. You know, a drone was over my backyard. Was that drone looking in my window? You and I have flown drones. We know that far more likely that somebody's taking a picture of the sunset or you know the church steeple half a mile away than they were trying to look into your backyard. But people have these concerns, and until drones are more widely integrated into American life, there will be people who their first encounter with a drone will scare them. I, I've noticed something of a generational gap that when I'm flying a drone in my neighborhood, I'll put one up, and older neighbors who see it, they they wonder if I'm looking in their windows and what it can do and is it safe. Whereas kids come out and say, "Wow, is that a phantom? Wow, what is it? What is it?" My kids they watch a cartoon where one of the characters is a police dog who he has a drone there's no discussion wow what is that the other the other dogs don't stand around in this cartoon and say what is that thing what does it do they just say oh it's your drone and up it goes so some of this is generational thing kids are growing up with technological expectations that you and I had to learn anything that increases the consumer acceptance and the larger public acceptance of drones is a good thing final question sure. what are you taking out of CES 2017 what's your message from DJI to the community what's the community been telling you it's been pretty clear that this is the year that drones get integrated into professional workflows that over and over again we're seeing businesses coming through here and saying this is part of what we do now and they have technical questions about how they can integrate one of our products into their workflows what would be the best for what they're doing what kind of vendors are already developing software packages in their space that would let them do what they want to do with it 2017 is a year that drones are increasingly at professional use Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today.